The graph above describes the velocity of a particle measured in feet per second. Number one, we're asked to determine if the height of the particle is increasing or decreasing at a given value of t. Well, remember the velocity function is equal to the derivative of the position function, and therefore the sign of the velocity function indicates whether the position function, in our case the height function, is increasing or decreasing. Which means to determine if the height of the particle is increasing or decreasing at the given values of t, we need to determine the sine of the velocity function at t equals one and t equals two. Well, if we locate the point on the graph of v of t, when t is equal to one, we have this point here where the velocity function value is negative, and therefore at t equals one, the height is decreasing. And now let's look at the point on the graph where t equals two. The point on the velocity function when t equals two is this point here, where the velocity function value is positive, which indicates the height is increasing at t equals two. Next, determine the open intervals for which the acceleration is positive and negative. Remember the acceleration function is equal to the derivative of the velocity function, which means where the velocity function is increasing, the acceleration is positive, and where the velocity function is decreasing, the acceleration function is negative. So let's analyze the graph from left to right, determining where it's increasing and where it's decreasing. We'll notice from t equals zero to t equals one, the velocity function is going downhill from left to right, and therefore decreasing over this interval. And then from t equals one to t equals three, the velocity function is increasing. And then from three to infinity, the velocity function again is decreasing. So again, where the velocity function is decreasing, the acceleration function is negative. And that should make sense because notice how if we were to sketch tangent lines to the velocity function where the function is decreasing, notice how the slopes of the tangent lines would be negative and the slopes of the tangent lines do represent the acceleration function values. And where the velocity function is increasing, if we sketch tangent lines, the slopes are positive, and again, those slopes are acceleration function values. So the acceleration is negative where the velocity function is decreasing, which is over the open interval from zero to one, union, the open interval from three to infinity, and the acceleration is positive where the velocity function is increasing, which is the open interval from one to three. I hope you found this helpful.